Tech Brothers with Amir. Today we are going to learn how to create block group report with the subtotal and grand total in SSRS. So let me show you how the, this report look like. Here is our block group report and as you can see that we have grouped it by the region. So for Asia you see it is it's a block here and the rows are starting or the details are starting right next to the group. And for Europe you can see that okay we have Europe region uh, data here and then uh, the uh, Petra and Henry that's the first name and last name the detailer uh, row is starting right next to it uh, and uh, we have subtotals for each of the group you can see here and at the end we have a grand total so each uh, one is making a block so with the group uh, and detail is making uh, one block let me give you another overview real quick we have stepped the group report where we have the group value on top and the, the, the detail were starting from the next row so that's how the stepped group report was looking like we have a video on that if you want to take a look go ahead and watch it now in this video we are going to create a block group report so the value will be starting uh, details will be starting at the same level where our group value is First of all, let's prepare the data. So in the SSMS uh, SQL Server Management Studio, I have written this query. I'm selecting a first name and a salesperson last name as the last name, product names, items sold, and uh, other columns from a total sale uh, table. So let's run this query and take a look. So we have the region, and uh, these are the other columns we need for this report. In your case, there would be possibility you will be getting this records maybe from multiple tables you have to join them in my case I'm selecting from one table and it is coming from the sales database now let's go to SSDT SQL Server data tools and here is the SSRS project already open and you can see here I have created a shared data source if we open it it is pointing to the sales database in our SQL Server and uh, that's the SQL Server name on my machine and I have named it as sales so we are all good with that we can right click on the reports and go to add new item as we are creating the report from basics so click on the report this will create empty report so I'm gonna call this one block group underscore report add now in the next part we have to do we have to create a reference to the shared data source right click here and say add new data source and we don't want to create the new one we have already existing one shared one so we are going to use that one so hit uh, you uh, sorry uh, select that one provide the some decent name so we call it DS sales so it is making a reference or it is making a pointer to the shared data source next part we will be creating a data set so right click here add data set and now we'll be using embedded data set in this case so go to data sources select the data source so then paste your query here hit ok we should get all those fields that are required we are all good here now there are multiple ways to insert a table here so you can right click here and go to insert and select a table so once the table is there make it uh, or adjust it according to the width you want it then we can do it uh, uh, later so select uh, first name last name and then uh, product name so we are dragging the things uh, or columns uh, to the table so you can drag all of them and uh, here is the region so I'm gonna put region name here so we are all good here let's take a look and uh, just put the name of the report let's insert a text box here and we are gonna call this one block step sorry block group report and uh, let's uh, uh, make it bold little more size some uh, background color and if you click here again you can change the length or width of this text box so adjust whatever you like now we are good here let's click here and this will select the entire column uh, for columns uh, for first row and then we can make them bold these are our headings and if I want to change the color background color let's change that one now we are good 
see the report report is ready but one thing we notice here the region is repeating and it is not grouped so we want to group it so come back here there are multiple ways to do it one way you can click right here where we see these are three lines and then say right click and add group and say add parent group that's one way to do it and then you have to provide the column here we are grouping by region so once we select this one that's all we need to do so let's cancel this out and let me show you the other way around so here in the detail you have row groups you can right click here add group parent group and the same tablex group uh, window show up so select the region and we don't need to add group header because if we add that one that's going to make it stepped group report so we don't need this one so just select the group by region hit ok now we can see it is grouped and uh, you can see the Asia Europe and North America but as we have put the column before and uh, it is repeating again so we don't need this column anymore so we go back here and we are gonna right click here and delete it so let's go back here our report is looking much better now we have uh, created a block group report the two things are remaining adding a subtotal and a total that's really easy so let's go back to design in the in the field you want to do the add so item sold that's a number field uh, that's uh, integer values we can add that so right click here and say add total so that will make the subtotal for each of the group so this uh, sum is for each of the group that's how we are doing it here so right click here again then add total so this is creating a subtotal here you can write anything subtotal and now let's uh, color this one so sh um, press the uh, shift and uh, keep selecting these ones now once you are here you can go ahead and select the color let's do pink I don't know you guys like it but we have some uh, uh, viewers uh, those are ladies maybe they like the pink color fine preview the report it looks really great now the last part is uh, left we need to add the grand total so if we will uh, do the sum of uh, these uh, uh, values uh, whatever the sum of a group uh, then it will give us the grand total so now in the first one we have uh, uh, did the add total on the detail now we are going to go ahead and add total again on this group level so once we do on the group level this is going to add all the sum of the groups uh, whatever the values we have and then give us the grand total so it is going to give us uh, the, the uh, uh, total for all of the values so we are going to do the same thing here add total and uh, here we will call it a grand total this is pretty neat we can go ahead and change the color so select uh, the column here sorry cell here you can select the entire thing or select one by one whatever you want so in this case let's do the entire thing I want to uh, first of all I want to make this bold let's make this one italic and also let's change the color so in this case uh, we want on this uh, color so now preview the report so this is how you will be creating your block group report as you can see we are creating a block here and we have added a subtotal and grand total this is really easy also you can change the color of these cells as well so let's say if you want to change the color of this entire cell for the group you can go ahead and do it it's no big deal you can let's say you want to go green in the background and then for uh, text uh, let's say you want no color so that's white and you want to make it bold so you can do it what happened is invalid the definition of report block is invalid uh, the value of a color property for the region one is, is not a valid color okay no color is not a valid color even it was shown in the design white so let, if you want to change to the white we should select the white color here so no color doesn't make sense we say white so this is good now we are we are good to go here see beautiful report is the generator thanks very much for watching this video and i'm gonna see you guys in next video